أعوذ بالله من الشيطان In front of me was like a huge head with a wide open mouth. I can still picture this in my mind, but I can never really describe it as it was so detailed. We went through its mouth and in it were all types of chambers of black fire. I saw people lying on their bellies on beds of spikes penetrating through their bodies while they were screaming. Another chamber, I saw people being crushed again and again in fire. Another, I saw their limbs being pulled off. 
After a few more chambers we left and one of the Muslims said to me, Is your life worse than what you just saw? I said, By Allah, no. The best dream is of Prophet Muhammad. streams of water and honey. I heard laughing and talking further on, so I walked through this garden. And each step I took, the, the garden just got more beautiful and different in color. I saw a really bright gold table with food I had never seen before on this table. There were sweets and different shapes of fruit on the table. There were also crystal cups with drinks with at least 100 different shades of color. And then another Muslim I saw with long wavy hair with pearls falling from his head. So I was thinking that was Isa alayhi salam. There were at least 100 Muslims around this table. At the head of the table, a Muslim turned around and faced me. Masha Allah, I will never forget his face. His eyes were darker than black pearls and there was a beautiful light shining from his face. As he smiled at me, I felt this warmth and this sweet smelling musk go over my body. Never leave you alone to suffer. He is with the believer who calls his name. He smiles to the believer who repents. He loves the believer who runs to him in struggle. And on the day that is coming, you will see how much love and comfort he gives to those Muslims who suffer for him.